Most Cardinals fans know the story of pitcher Daniel Ponce de Leon. He suffered devastating injuries when he was hit in the head with a line drive. Doctors didn't know whether he would even live, let alone play baseball again. 14 months later, he made his initial major league start. Now he has chronicled that journey in a new book called One Line Drive, a life-threatening injury and a faith-fueled comeback. And this morning, we are pleased to welcome Daniel Ponce de Leon joining us live from Cardinals Spring Training this morning. Hello. Hi, Randy. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And I know you're sleepless uh, down south because you guys just welcomed a brand new baby last month, Sophia Ponce de Leon. Busy household, right? Yep. Yep. She's uh, she's a, she's eating pretty good, sleeping good, too. So that, we're lucky here. That's always good news. Well, everybody in baseball, of course, followed your incredible story. I opened up your book just to a random page. I often do that. And it surprised me that you wrote Getting Hit in the Head with That Comebacker was one of the best things that could have happened to you. How is that? Explain. Well, that from that point on, my life turned around. Um, I've changed as a man, as a husband, as a father, even spiritually. Um, everything in my life made a 180 from that point on. And talk more about your faith. This book chronicles your journey from uh, the major league draft to the minors to the big leagues and of course uh, you know that terrible injury your faith helped you why was it so important for you to include that so prominently in this book because that is what built me up from the very beginning uh, you know i had the roots in there and then once that happened um, that's what i had to fall on you, know, you have a soul inside yourself and you need to start feeding that not just your physical body and now you're back in camp with the Cardinals. How's it going down there? How do you uh, see things? How are you seeing things uh, right now? Is it through a different lens as a player? Yeah, um, I'm kind of guaranteed a spa in a way on the team because I'm out of options. So, so um, I have, uh, you know, I feel like I'm part of the team this year, and uh, you know, it, we have a different dynamic. Plus, we added Nolan Arenado, so mm -hmm. everyone is excited to play, and our team is that much better now. That's fantastic. Now, I know a lot of fans love to hear kind of inside fun stories from Cardinals training camp. Is there anything you can share with us? Anyone prank you in the clubhouse? Did you run out of gas trying to get to a meeting? Things like that? No, um, there's not too much going on here. COVID protocols were in and out. Uh, they got us our day scheduled out. So sometimes you don't even see some uh, half the uh, half the squad because they're in a different locker room or we're all on different times. So yeah. um, it's a out this year. Certainly not like it used to be. I know that. So your book is called One Line Drive. And um, have you kind of talked it over with some of your teammates who also uh, are men of faith, who, who follow what you do as far as your faith goes? Have you sort of discussed this with anybody else? Not yet. I didn't really want to like put it in their face, but you know, they're all fine now. Wayno came to me yesterday and he was like, hey, I didn't know you were an author. You came out with the book. And I was like, yeah. So, uh, you know, slowly coming out and uh, whoever wants to talk, I'm willing to talk. That's fantastic. Well, we thank you very much. I know we took you away from your duties in spring training. We really appreciate your time. And I know Cardinals fans extra appreciate seeing you back on the mound again. So thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Randy. All right, have a great day. And if you'd like to get your hands on the book, it's called One Line Drive, A Life-Threatening Injury and Faith-Fueled Comeback by Daniel Ponce de Leon. It's on Amazon. We'll link you to it on our website as well as our Fox 2 mobile app.